Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Intel Cascade X parts. These are high-end desktop CPUs that Intel's just coming out with. I'm gonna talk a little bit why I'm not really impressed with them, but also why I'm still very happy to see Intel bringing these things to market. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Ars Technica article and talk a little bit about these parts and how they stack up to AMD's current offerings, and also why I'm not overly thrilled with them, but still happy to see them on the market. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be using this Ars Technica article, which I will link down below as well as some of the products I talk about in case you're in the market to buy some of these. But let's go ahead and hop to this Ars Technica article. And I'm gonna go down to the sort of chart here that Ars Technica provides, which is why I'm using this particular article, specifically because it stacks up the Cascade X parts, which is like the 10,000 series of HEDT parts to the AMD current 2000 series of Threadripper parts. And obviously we see here at the very top end, Intel's offering an 18 core 36 thread monster of a CPU for under $1,000, which is gonna present very solid value to anybody that's sort of in the market for these very high end desktop parts, especially if you're somebody that can take advantage of a lot of core and threads, that's gonna be a really attractive part to you if you have the money to shell out for it. And considering some of the past value that, that rather Intel has presented with their HEDT parts, this is really solid value being under $1,000 at the top end compared obviously to a 32 core AMD part, which is going at $1,700. So we're definitely not seeing a fair comparison here exactly because the top end Threadripper parts have more cores, more threads, but also higher TDPs, higher dollars, uh, it doesn't really line up all that well here. So if we compare the 18 core to something that it's probably much more similar to, at least in heavily multi-threaded performance, which would be the 24 core or the 16 core, probably uh, a little bit closer to the 24 core in performance just because Intel compared to second generation Threadripper does have a significant still IPC advantage. So if we're looking at the 24 core versus the 18 core from Intel, it's actually looking really good for Intel and it's actually very competitive with a pricing perspective in mind because the Intel part is going to completely smear that 16 core Threadripper part, but maybe depending on the workflow might trade blows with the 24 core here and Intel is actually undercutting AMD here. So uh, the pricing here actually looks fairly solid until you start to consider that AMD is just about ready to launch their Threadripper line and that's their third generation of Threadripper parts. And I can guarantee you right now that AMD is looking at these pricing uh, rather looking at these prices and taking everything into account. And with their GPU launch of the 5700 and 5700 XT, AMD has shown that they are willing to be flexible even up to the last minute on pricing to stay very competitive and actually undercut competition. And I would be very stunned, frankly, if AMD doesn't undercut Intel in the price to performance realm here with the upcoming Threadripper chips. The current generation Threadripper chips may end up being more expensive than what Intel's offering when you're looking at price to performance, but when AMD launches its third gen chips, I would be stunned if Intel maintains that sort of price to performance crown that they currently, however briefly, may enjoy with Cascade X processors. And it's also worth noting that the lower end Cascade X processors don't even make any sense right now whatsoever from a pricing perspective because AMD's third gen Ryzen chips go clear up to a 12 core 24 thread 3900X. And if you can snag one of those for the MSRP of $500, and yes, I'm fully aware they're going for more like six or $700 right now, but even at $700, a 3900X is going to outperform the 10920X probably fairly handily in most tasks, and it's gonna do so at a much lower TDP than the 10920X, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna continue pronouncing them. Is it the 10920X, the 10920X? Let me know what you think in those comments down below how you would pronounce it, the exact pronunciation. Regardless, the 10920X as well as the 10900X don't make a lot of sense to me because their MSRPs are significantly higher than AMD's 3900X, which would outperform these chips in likely almost every single task out there. However, if you can get a really solid overclock on these chips, then maybe that shifts a little bit. But I'm pretty sure the 3900X is gonna outperform these definitely at stock, I would imagine, just because that IPC 
uh, has improved drastically over third generation for uh, AMD compared to second generation Ryzen chips. Now, I do also fully understand that with these HEDT parts, it's likely they're going to be bringing more PCIe lanes to the field than uh, our AMD's mainstream chips. But again, the pricing isn't really there right now for Intel's lower end Cascade X chips. And I think that's really going to be the overarching problem with some of these Intel chips is just that Intel, while giving us better value right now, is still not coming close enough to matching AMD's value, especially, again, once AMD launches its third generation of Ryzen chips, uh, rather the Threadripper Ryzen chips. So I don't see these prices holding up as a really solid value, and that's basically my big thing. So I am very pleased to see Intel bringing something that is more cost affordable to the market on the HEDT side of things. It's just that in my mind, they're not quite there. And yes, I fully understand I am completely biased. I am very much Team Red right now because I just believe the price to performance that Team Red is bringing to the market is just much better right now than Intel is offering. Though this is definitely a step in the right direction. It's not to the point where I would be willing to shell out this kind of money for the processors they're offering up. However, it's getting much, much closer to that. And I am very happy to see Intel going in what I believe is the right direction, especially from a competition perspective, because right now it looks like AMD has the technological edge on Intel. Now, if Intel can get their sort of processes figured out and drop down eventually to that seven nanometer process, or eventually even further down, then Intel can definitely catch up. And Intel as a corporation does have the resources to catch AMD, there's no doubt about that. But right now, AMD looks like they have a little bit of an edge on the desktop side of things, and I imagine with the Threadripper, third generation Threadripper chips, AMD is going to continue to try to push that advantage by also providing better price to performance and give consumers a really compelling reason to jump ship from Intel. And right now, Intel is likely still sort of enjoying the fact that most people are coming from an Intel platform, and it may be a little bit harder to knock some people off of the Intel platform if they're not paying an exorbitant amount of money more more to stay with Team Blue. So that's just my thoughts on the current generation of Ryzen processors versus the Cascade X processors that Intel is bringing to market. I do want to know your thoughts on this sort of announcement and these prices and, and the dropping of the prices on the HEDT side of things for Intel. Let me know all your thoughts on this news down below. And of course, if you like the video and you want to see more like this covering these types of news topics and just giving my sort of rambling thoughts. Give this video a like, share, subscribe, and comment. All those things are very helpful to the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.